Welcome to the OSR's podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things with RuneScape related content creators. Last time I asked for some likes. We got some likes. The video did good. I'm going to ask for likes again. More so likes. Does good again. Yes, yeah. more likes. More than before, please. Please. That'd be great. Let, let's uh, let's go for a game. like goal. But, sorry, dude. Let's go for a like goal. Look, we've never had like over 200 likes, have we? Or maybe we did with we Settled. Have, we have. Did we have yeah. it with Settled once? Dude, this is Jimmy. This is much better than Settled. Exactly. I'm just, yeah, let's be honest. Yeah. 500 likes. Have you likes, seen dude. the editing? I, I'd yeah, say I'm, if we get 200 much. likes, we'll do something special for the next podcast. We're not. <laughs> or, or just, just, there, just give us 200 well, likes. That'd be great. We're all yeah. going to wear red shirts or something. It's not Yeah, I'll say great. thank you with the bottom of my heart. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I am Mitt Mac, yeah, one of your hosts, followed by. What's going on, guys? Rakesy here. Yeah, uh, Rice Cup. And Jimmy, I will be introducing you. This is the one of the funniest fuckers on RuneScape YouTube. He is beautiful, well made, and uh, he has a nice scarf. Welcome, Jimmy. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing doing great. That's a that's a pretty big compliment of one of the funniest fuckers. That's yeah. that's huge for me. So I appreciate that, dude. I remember watching your old videos, which are not even that old. Maybe a year ago, where you'd be talking to cows and all sorts of dumb shit, doing quests, and I was dying. I was literally huh, huh. dying. I want a voice act, by the way, on one of your videos. One of these days, it's on my bucket list. I want to be a yeah. voice. Yeah, yeah that, qualify. <laughs> the series of of talking to npcs was was a great time it was uh it definitely didn't get as much traction as the new stuff but it was definitely a lot more goofy and and sporadic yeah yeah voice voice acting having people voice act on the channel is fun it's just just very tedious oh i bet i bet man so jimmy do you get inspiration from any like other youtube content creators or anything for your your like style of content and i'm specifically talking about back then Oh, back then, like with the older like skit videos. Yeah, with that, because I, I will throw this out there. It reminded me a lot in a very good way of like Tanoob Show from like way back in the day. If you know who that is. No, of course, of course, yeah. Who? Who? <laughs> Tanoob dude, Show. It's, it's really, dude. That's pretty Dolly. old now, man. Like that's who is was that? It, like, Ten yeah. years. Yeah. No, I've been around for a while. I, I remember that entire crew and the crew before them. So it's uh. It's definitely an inspiration uh, to start making videos because of that. I think the biggest inspiration started from uh, Max Boyson, if you remember him at all. Max Boyson, uh, wasn't that The Unforgiving? Yes. Oh, man, yes, he's he was like my favorite RuneScape YouTuber ever. Yeah, me too. Oh, my God, yep. you remember? Wait, you remember that guy? Jesus, I don't think I remember, anyone remember that yep. guy. Like, I remember him. I, didn't and watch I, him. I, didn't. <laughs> I remember uh, Sky the Kid, who yeah. was, he moved on to... Sky does Minecraft or whatever. Now he makes rap music, which is pretty. <laughs> sweet. Wait, 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 wait. That guy was in the RuneScape community before, because I know him. Yeah, man. Yeah, he wow. was a. He was his Minecraft skin is like a RuneScape outfit. Uh, he started here and he made he made some of the funniest skits ever, man. Dude, that's actually unreal, so. oh, that's insane that, that you know who the Unforgiven is. I ask people all the time if they know who he is, and nobody knows. Max oh, yeah, Boyson, dude, was that's a... old school. That's like Skychi, uh, Lord Karmic, and like I've heard of Skychi. A list of other yeah, people. Same. I mean, come dude, on, yeah, my... dude, everyone should have yeah. heard of Skychi. See, have you, ever, have you seen Vodka Five's bank video? Vodka Five, yeah, of course. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh yeah, I, I used like to watch Lord Makeup, dude. You guys are you guys are so old school. I used to watch like the <laughs> airs, man. Oh god, I missed out, dude. I remember yeah, my. Dude. My, YouTube didn't exist for me back then. <laughs> my two favorite YouTubers back in the day, yeah, it was Lord Karmic and The Unforgiving. Uh, I liked The Unforgiving because he did like he did like some real life videos, and at the time, back in those days, nobody did like real life stuff. So it was it was yeah. nice to put a RuneScape player's face to a RuneScape player, you know. But um, right. I remember Lord Karmic was just this dude that was he he was like a beast. Right, at least in my eyes, he was because he was killing abyssal demons. All he did was like PVM montages. He'd be killing abyssal demons for like effectively months. He'd have a warrior's helm, four torags, rune boots, whip in them, and it was just like the most epic thing for a noob to watch. And I, I love that dude's videos. But I, uh, I, I remember so solid 2K. Oh yeah, so, so solid oh, 2K. Yeah, so solid 2K. Oh man. I can see some good montages. I loved it. I like it. We're going back in time, man. Wait, so how Hell how yeah. long have you been playing, Jimmy? Oh god, I was I started 
in 2006 during the Halloween event. That's how when you got the Grim Reaper hood. That's that's when I started playing this game. Dude, I thought that hood was the coolest thing back then. I, I always know. wanted it. Oh man, but I was too dumb to do any quests or side missions, so I just killed you know goblins and shit. Oh yeah, <sighs> so bad. Yeah, I've been around for a little bit. Yeah, 2006, Ooh. pretty OG. Nice. So, yo, Jimmy, how do you know Framed? Because I believe when you first came into the community, you and Framed, he was on your video a lot as well. Yeah. And I always wondered, what the hell? He was amazing content, but how the fuck do they know each other? Yeah, this is actually a pretty funny story. Uh, they used to work in... together. I'm cool in it. <laughs> Didn't you? <laughs> Didn't you? Admit it, man. <laughs> I can see it, dude. I, I can, I can see it. <laughs> I found him when he was in that era of his videos and you know obviously most people at the time thought that was pretty cool because i mean took some skill to interrogate people and, and get them to do what you want so i was very i was a very big framed fan and uh framed was was swinging his nine incher around one day thinking i'm gonna hold a video competition and he held a video competition to win a uh an elijah spirit shield when it was like 500 mil or something like that uh so i was like oh i i can do that i can make a video so i made a video entered his competition and i won second place so i got a santa hat uh Ooh. now the santa hat that i won is the reason that my penguin has a santa hat on because it's oh. originally where it came from so i won this competition and you know i hadn't made videos or anything before this uh so I, I had him on Skype and I was like trying to not be a fanboy, trying to get a hold of him and become his friend. It took a long time. It took a, <laughs> it took uh, quite a trust. <laughs> yeah, right. It took a long time to, you know, assure him that I wasn't just some freaky guy that was trying to, you know, message him and, and stalk him and stuff. Uh, but eventually we did kind of learn that, uh, you know, we, we kind of liked each other, you know, so you oh, can interpret that right. however you feel okay. like. A little uh, autism. But, okay. Right. Yeah. Did you but, say a little uh, bit of autism? No. What? <laughs> no. What? That's well, what that too. That, that too. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, we ended up, you know, becoming friends and uh, we played Portal 2 together on his channel. It's actually that is still fucking up. adorable. I need to watch yeah, we that. Yeah, Portal <laughs> 2, and it, I think it has a, a whopping 800 views on his channel. <laughs> uh, wow. The deepest, yeah, it was, the deepest before, search. It was way before J1 MMY was ever a thing, uh, and that's when he created... He was actually the reason I have a penguin as my uh, avatar everywhere because he just searched like a random penguin cartoon picture and found it. And it wasn't this one, obviously this was like a modified version of it, but I thought it was from club penguin. So you're pretty much no. saying framed is like the best campaign manager. He's got the he, logo set. Yes. He's got everything, dude. This guy knows. Yeah. yeah framed is the reason I exist. Basically he, uh, he brought me here. Yeah, okay. He's a, he's a godfather. So you lured he's him for friendship pretty much. <laughs> basically I, I pulled a, I, I fought fire with fire and got him on my side. You didn't have to catfish. You could have just been a dude. So frames and the dudes is what we're okay. We're learning yeah, a lot today, man. All yeah, right. That's cool. That's I see cool. conclusion. Yeah, that's an interesting it. origin story. Oh, I, I guess have a question. I don't fit his uh, shape apparently. Yeah. For uh, yeah, your your height is like you I'm know, too big. I'm too big of low, a dude. You know, he's into the little dudes. <laughs> he's he's into he's into a he's lot. Ac he's like extra tall. You, you see, <laughs> like you met him at RL before. Oh yeah, we met we met uh, this summer. Oh yeah, I saw I you went out. On, on Twitter, right? New York. Yeah, he's a tall yeah, visited, fucker, dude. He's oh he's, yeah. I was he's referring. Tall, I, I was referring to short. Just seen it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. man, have you seen Frame before, Arrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it was at TwitchCon. I can't remember which one. And we were all going out to the Cabana, which is a Twitch bar. And I don't see Framed first, right? But I kind of know Framed. You know, I like his content. I like his voice. I like his Ray Romano accent. And I see Soup. And this is the first thing I remember. I run up the Soup. I go, Quest Guides, right? Uh, and he looks at me and he gets so sad. <laughs> <laughs> first impression. Like his face yeah. just drops. And then I hug him. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should have made a better first impression. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dickhead. And then after that, a uh, frame ran up and I met him. And it was, I just remember that first part though when I talked to Soup. And I just feel <clears> a little bad. But, oh. Dude. 
Did you college. go up to Framed and be like, Lure Nation? Luring guy? <laughs> I know. Just like, I was like, Raymond, is that you? He goes, call me a Deborah. And I don't know if what, that's what he said, but I wish he said that. And then we <laughs> oh, That's uh, awesome, man. Do you know what? Like, hearing about that just makes me so excited for RuneFest, man. Because they're all, uh, yeah, I, hope, like, I hope they're going to be there because I'm really looking forward to seeing them, man. But like, I remember the first time I ever met Soup. He, I was like really anxious about meeting him because prior to meeting him, the only contact we ever had between each other was him leaving flame on one of my videos. <laughs> <laughs> and like, he was like the nicest guy ever, man. Like we just got on really oh, well. Like he was genuinely a nice dude, but I remember feeling so anxious about meeting him. But yeah, he's a really sound guy, man. I like all of them, honestly. The fantastic people. Yeah, I don't think I've met a bad RuneScape content creator, <clears throat> except, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're all great. They're all I mean, fantastic. like, I could tell who's more open to talk and who's not. So, at RuneFest, you know, like, you kind of just yeah, kind of go into a group and you just talk with some people more than others. And, yeah, uh, dude, I mean, yeah. they're either anxious or really high. It's yeah. kind of a mix. Yeah. It's it's interesting, isn't it? Because I'd say that I haven't ever like met a RuneScape content creator that I haven't got on with. But saying that, there have been a couple that were following me, and then after we met, they unfollowed me. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I might just be the asshole. Like, I don't know. I, You're I'm the guy, dude. Wrong. That's you. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's me, man. I'm that guy. I'm the unlikable one. I don't there know, dude. Go. I just... Yeah. I, I, I don't really have a filter a lot of the time, so... And I just kind of yeah, say okay. what I yeah. want to say, and I guess Wait, it upsets so, uh, people. So, so Jimmy, you were saying um, something about you and Frame <coughs> going out somewhere? Oh, oh yeah, it was like a vacation. Yeah, we went out. Yeah, we went out. It was <laughs> like it was fun. Yeah, we went to a we went to a bar, a certain bar of a certain genre together. Um, oh, sure. Which was in a certain way. bathroom for you know certain wall. Yeah. I swear no, it was but, like in New York or something. Were you guys in New York? Yeah, but no, we were in New York and he just walked around with me and my mom for a while. It was really cool. Is... Uh, cool. <laughs> we didn't make yeah. any passes, so, right? had it going on. You were the mom, you know? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yeah, it was cool meeting meeting him, though. Finally, it felt like I had, uh, you know, you're always kind of nervous. I've met a few guys in real life uh, from RuneScape, uh, not just content creators, but other people. Um, that I was friends with for a long time. And you kind of have yeah. that nervousness. Like, you know, you only know them like through the computer or discord or like their Skype picture or whatever. 100%. And uh, 100%. you kind of get this, like, you don't want it to be like awkward, but you can't help that it kind of is. And you don't want it to be <clears throat> with, with Kevin. It was like, we had known each other for, you know, our whole lives. And it was definitely the first time that's ever happened of meeting anybody. It was, yeah, we've, we've helped each other out a lot with, real life issues and we've always been there for each other so he is like a he's like a brother that i got to meet which was badass so i i, I really like getting involved with all the creators and, and the content creators and all that stuff yeah yeah so, that's a lot sure. of opportunity for friendships is i guess what i'm getting at friendships yeah, sure. the best shit. yeah when i met my account bro he's weird i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> So, so I met Rice Cup and we went over. We were at um, PAX East in Boston, I, I think. Yeah. And yeah, it was, it was uh, the airport. we're going to take our first picture and we're standing outside his friend's house. And okay, truth is, we were there to get high, but we were not high <laughs> yet. Okay. And this is what begs the difference that we took a picture directly in the sunlight. I posted it on Instagram and everyone's like, hey. Because <laughs> he thought we were blazed. And I'm like, dude, not yet. <laughs> oh man! No, yeah, I, dude, I saw that picture. Was it on Twitter as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, posted on Twitter. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I commented on it, man. You guys looked high as fuck. Like, <laughs> dude, it was the sunlight, man. That shit was hitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no, great. that's cool though. For real, meeting people you you've uh, you've talked to on, online and then IRL, it's like, I mean, it really isn't that much different. You know, it's just dude. like maybe the first ten seconds is like. Yeah, nervous, yeah. but then it's like, hey, my boy, you know. And then, do you know, I've I've only ever had I've had one experience that was bad with that, and it was uh, a guy that was one of the he was a mod in my Twitch chat, oh. and he, he he was a mod in my Discord as well, right? And the thing is, he annoyed me because he was so like power abusing. Like he's a nice guy, don't get me wrong, in a lot of ways, but oh my god, like give him a bit of power, dude, and he just abused it, like. 
day. And I woke up every day to messages on Discord saying, hey, can you unban me from this? Somebody's changed my name to this offensive name. Like, every day I'd get at least two to three messages from people. Holy and it was, it was, <laughs> all, it was always this guy. <laughs> always this guy. And um, he was in the yeah. UK. He was, like, close to where I was. And I agreed to meet up with him. And, um... Oh god, it was it was a nightmare, man. Like it was actually a nightmare. As soon as he left, Damn, and I, I got bad for you, dude. Yeah, I I basically oh. said I said to him in person, and I, like we've made friends, and like it's all good now, I think. But I said to him in person, I was like, dude, I was like, look, I was like, as soon as you get home, I want you to give me the power back because at the time <laughs> we had we had like the same power on Discord, right? <laughs> And, oh um, shit, and you can't take it back? I couldn't take it back. Time. I was like, dude, I just, I wanted help setting this up, but I need it back <laughs> now. I want it to be my Discord. And he was like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's not a problem, not a problem. Two weeks passed. And I warned him. I said, hey, dude, are you going to, are you going to give it to me or not? And uh, in the end, we just ended up completely destroying the, uh, the server and ended up a new one. And then oh my he, God. it was, it was yeah. pretty <laughs> bad, man. Like, it was horrible because I had to talk to him and I was just like, look, I was like, I like you. I was like, you're a friend of mine in that, but like, you just can't. Oh, it was it was awkward you're, as you're fuck, over man. Abuse. Yeah, yeah and yeah, that's crazy. like he, he made a threat to like get revenge on me, and like <laughs> I'm just it's terrified. Like fat boy threats. He's just oh, like, dude, I'm, you, dude. I'm so scared to give him like any power dude, again, man. Like I, I that's truly an yeah. online revenge flick right there, dude. Yes. Well, the the thing is, one of my other fucking mods, he's Scottish and he's a very angry guy. Can you give um, us an impression, real quick? A little impression, uh, dude. I, I can't do this. Oh, so I, yeah. <laughs> no, I can't do it, but um, like he took it too far when it come the, the guy that I was telling you about the power abusers, he took it too far because he didn't like him and he just ended up just deleting his entire server. And that was not what I said to go in with. I was like, we're just gonna go in, kick everybody from the server, and then invite all of them to the new server. But he straight up like stripped this Discord huh. server down into like nothing, and it, it was bad, man. Yeah, it was dude. fucking bad, dude. Awkward. That was the only bad experience I've had. But he said some really weird stuff, man. Like, yeah. By the way, Rakesy, man, I put some pictures of that TwitchCon down below. I, I have them saved somewhere. I got one with me and framed and some people in there if you want to show them. Uh -huh. Oh, hello there. Oh, you okay. got it with Torvesta. I see. The Torvesta was like that quiet kid who took too much Adderall but didn't want to talk. Like He was just standing there. He would <laughs> yeah, not talk dude. to anybody. He was very yeah. quiet. I saw, I, I saw him like low key at Runefest, but he wasn't really talking much though. he was just kind of like yeah, everyone just came up to him and said bird nest and just walked away and I was like, right. damn it my cow's trying to like start a crusade with everybody dude His first impression goes for the roast <laughs> dude i was just so excited yeah, so, yeah. that's kevin and my boy man yeah you. let's get you back to jimmy a nice guy man so so jimmy what do you what like in terms of style videos what do you I guess a few descriptors, you know, to describe what what type of videos you make, because I would say it's Sexy. definitely definitely not like your usual like you know like progress video. Right. Like, yeah, I've had a I've had a long history of uh, kind of abuse. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> Laura, right. you start that, of off. that. <laughs> but oh, uh, yeah, uh, I I usually start a series that's kind of portrayed as a progress series and then make no progress so uh my main goal of all of the series i've ever started is to make people laugh that's all i really want to do uh that's that's my entire goal here is to just brighten people's day with with dumb things i say so uh, comedic yeah. it rhymes definitely definitely comedic more on the humor side of things um i <laughs> I have no interest in becoming the world's best PK or competing for cash prizes. Really? You're DMN. pretty close. Here. Yeah, I'm getting there. You know, I just... The reason I started this new series is because it, it allows me to tell stories and portray stories in certain ways. So I, I guess a lot of uh, the material I make is... What was that in the background? <laughs> that was a monster that arrived. That, that's, that's his main. God. That's Rick's he's made. Hey, don't, don't worry about that, Crane. Continue. Uh, he just makes scary. a noise as he goes by. That's him. <laughs> I got spooked. Uh, yeah, but uh, I, I think I just I just want to tell stories. I want to be goofy and have kind of just a positive vibe going all around. What would yeah. you say to people okay. who hate quests? 
dude people tell me that they just do the quest through my videos which is hilarious uh because I, I questing is definitely not the most popular thing in the game uh it, it happens to be what i enjoy the most um but to people that hate quests i mean Die i'm not gonna convince you to not hate them uh i think it's it's almost like you can even look at like skyrim or something you can either go and fight big shit and try to get better gear or you can do the storylines and some people like doing both right. i don't know it's whatever you, your preference is yeah so, i don't know because <laughs> yes. when you look at other games right it's pretty much the whole game is just <clears throat> a bunch of quests that you do and that's you playing the game but when you play runescape I think people just see it as a tedious task yeah. to get Let, other let's content. Be honest. Let's be honest. Other MMOs, their quest is simply, okay, go and kill 50x, finish the quest. Yeah. Okay, next, go and kill That's this true. boss. Next, yeah. go 50x. Mate, you know? RuneScape's quests are like so <laughs> in-depth. Like, Jesus. Right. Like, I'm pretty sure there was a dude that was completing like all the quests about guides. Like, these quests are like right. fucking yeah, puzzles, there's a streamer man. doing it right now. You know, yeah. there's a few people coming. So, know, so come. like, the reason people don't like quests is because you actually got to figure stuff out. And because people aren't willing to do that, they just end up watching a guide. And then it yeah. effectively just becomes like a robotic like motion of just following what the yeah, guy is doing. Yeah, do that's for I mean? sure. That's why I people don't see him as... They don't yeah. see him as quests, though. Like, if you play Pokemon, Objective. you're pretty much on a whole quest to get the badge, right? I think that's the a, game, right? A lot of, a lot of people also... Uh, I guess if you don't like quests, I think the biggest advice I have is to uh, you have to actually try to comprehend the lore that's going on. As nerdy as that sounds, uh, I didn't for a long time. And I also thought it was just tedious. Hold down the space bar thing. Um, but you a lot of people don't appreciate that this game is revolved around your guy being worthless piece of trash and having to prove yourself. And that's why this game was invented, and that's what separates it from everything else. Like, your guy is <laughs> labeled an adventurer. He's not some hero guy. Everyone's just like, I guess you can help if you really want to. Like no, one, <laughs> no, one's, no one's asking for your help. Your guy's yeah, like, I want to help you out. So yeah. it's just like, a, really? Yeah, you got to get in the right <laughs> mindset to do quests. And, yeah, and do yeah. Quests. I mean, you know what it is? Yeah, A lot of it comes down to expectations. Some people play this game to just grind and then you know other people are kind of like oh i think it's a story mode driven game so i'm going to play it like that you know it's like there's yeah. so many different mindsets of how, how would you compare zaya favor to questing by the way because i know you fucking hate zaya favor right yeah Pretty yeah trash. the guy that the guy that won the current video competition fucking despises favor uh i think it's the worst thing ever I, right. it's like, yeah. I don't know it it, it plays no. no role it, it truly doesn't like i feel i would have much rather had like side missions to do to build the statue mm -hmm. rather than like go mine shit while getting attacked by uh mm -hmm. giant smoke clouds for for hours yeah to get uh, it's almost like other mmo rpg quests yeah. right that they added in just shitty task you have to do and not really a story yeah, at the very least uh they've made it so much faster because i remember the first like yeah first but you know out. holding a piece <laughs> of shit compared to holding it for 15 seconds you're still holding it you know yeah, yeah. that's what very true yeah not a good time no i, I, I feel I like, like uh it. once they put in more quests it, I mean, you can eventually just quest your way like all the way to 100 or something instead of like this mining oh that'd be amazing time. yeah that'd be so yeah. freaking good like let, let's bear in mind though like recently they did the, uh, the visual update to zia is it who yeah, like we went there. yeah they're, like they're putting in some time to actually immersify yeah. it it's probably I, the word I, I think zaya is just like a block of content but it's a very basic block and hopefully yeah. eventually it's gonna like it's gonna change and evolve yeah and, you know it's just a big piece <laughs> of land with free real estate for updates yeah all righty <laughs> then so, Jimmy, we asked about how you and Framed met each other. How the fuck did you and Settled meet each other? Did you lure him for friendship as well? Like, <laughs> uh, like in yoink, yoink. So this this makes me feel way cooler than I am because I had, once I started my podcast, I wanted to get him on because uh, I was, clearly I was chasing clout. I mean, I, I needed uh -huh. to get him on. He was blowing up. I think he had... 60 or 70,000 subscribers at the time. 
and I, you know, I discovered him through Twitter because everyone was talking about him. So like, oh my god, this is this guy seems really cool. So uh, I messaged him. I was like, hey man, like, uh, do you want to come on my podcast? Like, it'd be really cool to to interview you and ask you about this series you have going. And he's like, he then proceeded to tell me, he's like, yeah, dude, absolutely. Like, I've been subscribed to you for such a long time. I was like holy shit yeah this is awesome so huh, settled huh. was a fan of me before i was a fan of settled so <laughs> i got the upper hand on him and uh i guess you could say from that interaction that i taught him everything he knows <laughs> yeah that's fair <laughs> yeah. No, I made yeah dude let's, let's I, I used to ha- hang around his twitch a, a decent amount with verif back when he was uh you know still kind of like normal i guess normal uh size i guess before yeah, he turned a into a monster. So you got that. Yeah, it's been a hot minute, you know. Oh yeah, man. it's interesting. Well, it's you... interesting how someone you kind of know just like it just like goes out somewhere, yep. and you're like, oh shit. Well, I guess. Do you think I, settled uh, had a lot to do with by release blowing up? Uh, I definitely thank him a lot for initially giving it a shout out for the episode one uh, on his Twitter. He had. Uh, quote retweeted the first episode because I was talking to him as I released it and I was like, geez, dude, I like I really I'm really excited for the series. Like I hope it does a little better than the the previous one. So without me asking, and I think he just kind of was like, yeah, that'd be really shitty if you didn't get views. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he went and, and quote retweeted it and uh-huh. just said like, you know, content creator is awesome. And lit- people were literally in like replying to that quote tweet saying like. Well, if Settled says it, then I got to check it out. Like, right. Word for word. Yeah. Wait, so like, well, that's awesome. Do you honestly believe that, like, Settled's Twitter, it, like, the influence is big enough to be able to, like, I don't I don't believe it was big I'm enough. I'm sure it to, helped a little bit. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, I think it probably how helped, much like, was... maybe a couple, maybe a thousand, two thousand views. Like, I don't think it would have been, like, the main reason, dude. Like, by I any means. You shouldn't discredit yeah, yourself yeah. by any means. Like yeah. No, no, I'm not discrediting myself. I think that <clears throat> I think that the uh, big burst, like that burst of, you know, one to 2,000 people that clicked on it from his Twitter definitely played a part in my video uh, touching the algorithm in yeah. the right spot. I think yeah, that yeah. Mm-hmm. helped a lot. Um, but no, I mean, <laughs> dude, like, you know, I met Settled and uh, I became close with him once... Uh, I proposed me settled and framed all get together and talk about bullshit for an hour. And uh, that one hour, the procrastinators thing I uploaded, uh, you could literally see it in the video of the friendship triangle that formed almost immediately. And all three of us since that day have not gone a single, a singular day without just talking like whether it be text message discord everything uh and it's it's been an awesome experience kind of getting close to settled and kind of me and framed finding another person that's really compatible with how dumb we are because no one knows that about settled but i want all of you to know he's very dumb he's a very uh-huh. dumb kid despite uh-huh. his subscriber count just don't, uh-huh. don't think of him don't think of him highly Okay. Uh, uh, you know I had a huge <laughs> respect for him, and now it's all gone. It yeah, is all don't, gone. Don't respect that man. Completely diminished respect over. Yeah, well, it's really cool because he. Well, first and foremost, there's been two guests on, like, physically on uh, Swampletics. I was the first one on episode like 14 or something. What do you mean and physically? Like, I, mean, like, I was the first other. Added, I was the first person. The first other voice other than Settled on his series. Oh, other, okay. Yeah, and then uh, in the 592-hour climb, the one he uploaded after like a month of being idle, uh, me and Framed were in the intro of that. So it was really cool. We, we always help each other um, kind of give editing suggestions. We, we don't post anything until we run it by each other now, which is kind of funny. Uh, we'll always show like segments of each other's videos and be like, we're so blatantly honest. Like, yeah, you need to cut that because that's shit. Like, it, it's it's a very good relationship as content creators. So it's really cool being able to tell Swampletics that something he's doing is awful and he should not do it. Yeah, that's brilliant, dude. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that's brilliant. And speaking of editing, man, 
And by release, I remember I was watching that for the first time, the first episode. And obviously commentary is great. The questing is great. Everything is great. But what is fucking phenomenal is the way you capture the environment with that fucking orb. Oh, my <laughs> God. Like, and the scenery. And that actually inspired me to start doing that in my videos, right? Because I just love the way... Because RuneScape is actually a, an amazingly beautiful game once you yeah. actually see it through the orb. You, it right. takes a while, but you're... All these details. <laughs> yeah, it's so when majestic. it's like zoomed out. Yeah, dude. Yeah, zoomed Man. out, zoomed in. I mean, you uploaded a yeah. video like a week ago at MageBank. I think you were doing like an hour PK at MageBank, right? Yeah. That the one? Yeah, you did like one of the shots of the orb where it was like the side of the Mage Bank and then the Mage Arena. And like I think you did like a color edit on it. I'm not sure, but it looked fucking awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, it was like beautiful purple. looking. I was like, damn. And that's inspired from Jimmy, dude. You just capture that the beautiful environment of RuneScape, maybe put a little tint on it, you know, whatever spazzle he does. And it just makes you go, wow, I'm playing a majestic ass game killing goblins. It's fantastic. Well, did you guys did you guys ever use uh before old school? I don't know if it came out after old school or not, but I mean the orb of Oculus in RuneScape 3. Pre no, I, I, I didn't know that really existed, dude. Back I could barely yeah, find so, a cow pen. So, yeah, once they upgraded the engine, they had the orb of Oculus uh, in RuneScape 3. So that was like my first experience with it because I started making RuneScape 3 videos and then eventually converted to old school. And uh, it's it's funny because there's actually a Reddit post deep down. I I could probably find it on my little profile. Uh, it was from 2014, I believe, or maybe 2015. And I made a post uh, saying, hey, it'd be awesome to get a orb of Oculus in the game. Like, this would be awesome. There's so many different opportunities for, for content. And a JMod replied and just shot my ass down and said, no way. The engine is incapable of handling it. It'll never happen. We can't dedicate time to that. So when they released it and Chris Archie came and gave me my orb in trade, I squealed like a schoolgirl because huh. I got what I've wanted for like three years. And I truly believe it uh, can be linked to just the, <laughs> the quality increasing yeah. for, for everybody. It's, it's incredible. So I'm glad they have it. I use it whenever I can. Um, and I used it in a very cool way in my upcoming video that I will show this snippet to you guys after we're Ooh. done here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I was going to be on the podcast. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I like it, man. Yeah, the, the soul <laughs> plug, man. I like it. <laughs> hey, no wrong with that, dude. You got to get it, baby. Uh, no spoilers for the people that aren't famous. Yeah, you're going to be famous <laughs> before I no spoil things. Are you going to light a fire into the JMOT's ass that shot you down? or? I don't even remember who it is. I have to look. If they're even still with Jagex. If they are, just I'm going to... Just blame it on my heart. Very stern talking. Yeah, he's a them. cool guy, man. Don't hurt me. By the yeah. way... While we're on the topic of uh, famous YouTubers, the Golden <laughs> Gnome announcement. Yeah. Hey, good segue. <laughs> hey, I'm a be I'm getting it, man. I'm getting it. So, the number one podcast for RuneScape, dude. Where's that at? Huh? Yeah, dude. Uh, where's well, the number one podcast? <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a few competitors. <laughs> best. So Why do they gotta got? be best new? Fuck the new people, dude. Give the yeah. old people some love, Well, man. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like, I mean, the old and the new is... That like, is actually a really good point. You're right. <laughs> You're actually right, yeah. Put in know. hours, put in promotion, get some love for Rakesy. Dude. My boy Ricey over here, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> I, I, I already get bothered enough in games, so we could cheat. There should you be know. there I should be a few messages here and there. <laughs> there should be a best old school RuneScape video maker, man. And then like yeah. it'd be it pro yeah, imagine that dude. It'd be like Alkin, Soup, a friend. <laughs> Alkin would be nice. Alkin was the first guy I started watching when RuneScape came out again. So yeah, dude, I, yeah, I, I used to watch him a good amount. I, was, you know, friend, you I know. think he should definitely get the recognition for giving RuneScape a good start with those fucking sweet videos. Oh my god, him doing Slayer DH. Oh, uh -huh. he, he do, does he really make YouTube videos now, or is he doing Twitch more? I think he's doing oh. Twitch a lot more. Yeah. Both. Okay. Because yeah, a I lot mean, of he people... was releasing a lot, but uh, ever since he kind of peaked on his hardcore, he kind I haven't seen much videos anymore. I haven't seen any sub boxes in a while. Oh, by the way, this is this is something that we don't have planned. Um, but I saw some shit earlier on uh, on Twitter that was kind of like 
eye opening and concerning, and it's just it's just sprung to mind. It's something I think we should talk about. So this is what Ian Pure Spam posted. So uh, Jagex has just been sold again. So the Chinese company doesn't own it anymore. And um, yeah, what does he say? Assuming main goal will be increase in profitability. Uh, oh no, sorry, they sold it to an investment company. So Jagex, our game has been sold to a investment company. Okay. Okay. Uh, like, did you guys know this, or is this the first? No, yeah, I know. About it, it. They didn't post any other than I don't know. Even even knows this shit. But uh, yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, man. The the game's always been owned by a third party for a long, long time. Not now, a new so. one though. But like, I, I, I know. I mean, it's dude, been going through hands. <laughs> I, I yeah, uh, I was often. I was reading this earlier, man, and it just like kind of just it scared me for a second because I was like. We got a lot of shit to worry about, whether it be YouTube or like these stupid like laws they're bringing at, out in Europe and stuff. And it's like, but like I don't see many other video games that are being sold every few years to like completely different fucking people. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't see Blizzard being sold left, right, and center. Uh, okay, Blizzard can hold its own though. They they don't need no investment company. I'm wondering because MTX no. got voted down hardly. They had to take it away from the polls. I wonder, because this happened right afterwards. Is there some sort of link? It's like, oh, uh, we can't I mean, make enough money out of it. I, I know. I know. I, yeah, I think we're, that's we're too fast. Like a, we're going to spend like an hour talking about this, so we should probably keep it really short. But, I mean, yeah, here's our, what... Our RuneScape only got sold, you know? It's not a big deal. <laughs> I mean, here's, here's what we're... We can definitely cover a bit more, but um, this this game has been sold and resold like to different investment companies. Every time. Just because this one saying investment company doesn't mean the coal mining company was not doing it for the same reason. The coal mining company bought it because it's an investment. They invested in buying it because they think they can extract money from RuneScape, right? That's the only reason. All of them are, in fact, doing the same thing. I also but, read that they that this investment company that bought them, uh, this no. is their first uh, investment in any sort of video game industry. So if I'm going to take a guess, they're going to lean a lot on the devs and on the people who have been here for a while to kind of lead them into those kind of decisions yeah, yeah. and kind of let them take the reins unless they have some sort of uh, online video game prodigy on board of that investment team, which I doubt. We don't really uh, know. And, Hard to you say. Know, <laughs> I wonder, yeah, it's also it's their first time buying a company. Why would they jump into this? Right. Well, because they needed to test the waters, you know, and I, I would assume <clears throat> they probably did a lot of research on old school RuneScape. They're like, oh, wow, oh, yeah, this game is staying afloat and it's been doing good. I think this is a good choice to, you know what I mean? Like yeah. probably they scan like probably tens of hundreds of games. I mean, they probably aren't right. doing Korean ones because you know why the Korean ones flop within like a year? Like I, pretty much every Korean MMO that out it flops like I, within the, a year. So You've got a very good point there, Ray, and something else. This might sound completely absurd, but like... Five hundred and thirty million dollars. Now this is gonna sound retarded as fuck, but like yeah. it really isn't that much when it comes to huge corporations. So like for example, like the the Star Wars Disney films that came out recently, like they all made over a billion. Do you know what I mean? Like just from those films alone. So if Disney wanted to buy Jagex and just like fuck around with it for a couple of months, like they could do it without yeah. even thinking twice. Yeah, honestly, I mean? Disney's been too busy <clears throat> acquiring media, like you know, video media related companies. Than games that I don't think they buy. Games. No, I I don't think they would. Yeah. I'm just giving that as an example. But yeah, yeah I don't know. I mean, like buy all the like the, movie. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. The first thing, like as soon as I saw this tweet and I clicked on the link, the first thing I thought was, could I see myself making videos on like some futuristic RuneScape free version of old school right now? And I was just like, for f I, I pray to God that doesn't happen. Please, just don't. I, I hope it doesn't. I don't think it will. But I mean, yeah. it, there is something kind of alarming about it being sold, dude. Like, it does alarm me. I'm not gonna lie. Well, like so, it, it's being. You know why it got sold, right? Because the Chinese mining company and the other companies that bought the game, they couldn't. They couldn't. Uh, they were in debt, so the only way they can get out of debt is if they sell the game. So it's not because membership. It's not because RuneScape isn't doing good. That that it's being sold is because the the companies that bought it themselves aren't doing good, yeah. And the reason why they're making these moves to invest is because they think the investment will help them get out of debt. But obviously, the debt was right. Too I I, big. I got that. So this is something that yeah. I I don't know anything about, but I'm gonna go out and assume something here. And if I'm wrong, I want you to correct me. And if I'm right, I want you to just yeah. 
So applaud you. <laughs> apl- applaud me. No, it's not applaudable. But like what I'm <laughs> saying is, like say this new company, regardless, whatever, yeah, this investment company, I would go out on a limb and assume that if they really wanted to, they could effectively just like take Jagex, take RuneScape, and just kind of like squeeze it and try to get every drop of money they possibly can. Like an old hooker? Yeah. Oh my yeah. Well, no, I mean, but you know, like like no, an old, like an old wet towel dude. So yeah, what I'm saying is, I would assume Same that thing. if they really wanted to, and I'm not trying to like, you know, uh, stir up fear or anything like that, but if they really wanted to, they do have the power to just be like, "Yep, we're gonna do this for the game. Nobody has a say. Put it into the game, and you know, the game would die in six months." Like, is that possible? That they could do so, that. Yeah, so Racy I mean, is saying they want to squeeze them. Jimmy thinks they're going to lean more on the devs. Yeah, um, it depends on how much. No, I, I, I'm not saying that's what they're going to do. I'm saying, but oh, if they, they could, wanted they could to, they could. Them. Okay, they well, could. The, that, well it, that's the yeah. concerning thing yeah, to me. Yeah. Like, because you, we, won't, like, we don't really know, man. We like, don't really know. Dude, there are companies no. out there that I don't know what the business terms are, but is it like liquidate where you buy a business, you get all the profit out of it, and then just fucking They're going to trump it, it, boy. Oh, no. Nah, I mean, that that's just them like squeezing every every little bit and then dropping the game. I mean, I feel like uh, in the original the original investment company that bought RuneScape a long time ago, they did that because like there was another game that I used to play bought by the same company and like they they were super aggressive on the mtx and basically they let they just left it to die you know uh, uh, except runescape survived luckily you know after that you know yeah. crazy ass you know mtx shenanigans and the changes but yeah right. uh, i mean we, I have, we like- have a lot to talk about today don't we but if everyone gets to speculate i want to speculate one yeah. thing here all right yeah. i'm i'm not i'm done personally on this topic <laughs> All right, I want. So Jimmy thinks that the devs might lead it, which is a good point. You never know. And then Rakesy's like, they they could squeeze it like like a whore. Um, so I'm thinking, if the coal mining company or whatever, I don't I don't know if it's a coal miner, but the company was in debt and they put RuneScape on the market, and this is their first purchase, seeing something on the market, and they did some research into RuneScape. Would it RuneScape be like one of the best games to MTX? Right? It has a strong oh, community. Nah. It never dies. Uh, and I mean, RuneScape three. If they look into it, they're making a ton of money through um, loot box. Not loot box, but the spin wheel. Relatively, if you add a spin wheel to old school, no one's really gonna quit. They're just gonna keep playing. I think right? they're more interested in the old would school you guys, model. Yeah. Would you guys quit? I think they're more they interested. Dude, in old school like, that, that's such a good point, man. I wouldn't quit, but what I would do is every video I upload, I'd shit talk the fuck out of the game. Every single video, right. and, but no one would quit though because it's no. like the strongest player base. We have shit uh, servers. People, I, I think it. people a game mode that's fucked hardcore Iron Man. They it, die, people no would reset. quit. People would quit for sure, but yeah, it no, would they're, be they're, they're, uh, the backlash would be crazy, bro. You would. Yeah. I wonder if people would join, dude. Oh, I get the buy RuneScape now. Just fucking max mm, it up. A friend would make a video spending fifteen k on it. <laughs> Yo, what do you again. what do you think, Jimmy? You've been a bit quiet, man. What are your thoughts? I would personally go on a free to play strike. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, that's, that's, good. Good. that's good. Yeah, that's good. But but then uh but then also I'm kind of fucked because Jagex gave me like a free year of membership, so I would just be going to free to play <laughs> worlds as a member. Uh but I would I I don't know. I I don't know. I don't think a spinning wheel or anything is gonna happen because no. if the investment company goes to Jagex and they're like, All right, here's what you're gonna do, you're gonna put microtransactions in. Jagex is gonna be like okay, we'll do that, and then you'll lose $500 million because everyone's going to quit our game and fucking hate you uh, because they'll show the results of the poll. They'll show the screenshots and and documents of Reddit after uh, it was put on the poll. Be like, oh, is this what you want? Do you think this is a good idea? And anyone with a a logical thinking brain will be like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe we'll figure something else out here. You would think so, that. Mm, you'd think Moral that. Has a brain and running a company, I swear to God. Right. Some people don't. Yo, I mean, Jimmy, really? you just, Jimmy, you just made like a really good point that I hadn't thought okay. about there. That is simply the fact that if they were to do that, like worst case scenario, they did like liquidate it and try to make as much money out of it as possible. They would effectively have to see it as being, they would either get the same amount out, if not more money than what they bought it for. And let's be real, like with the player base we have, there's no way they're going to make over 500 million in microtransactions, considering yeah. how fast the game would actually die. 
Like they never and even only, get close to it. So even if they did put microtransactions in and let's say people don't quit and if it's purely cosmetic, if it's purely cosmetic, no one's buying it. Everyone's going to strike it. No one's going to, you know, give in. There'll probably be like 11 year olds that you know bounce between old school and Fortnite that fucking buy skins there and come on here and buy there but unless they the only way they can profit from mtx is if the mtx is xp based and then you're gonna have the same population on old school that you do on runescape 3 it might take a while to get there but it's gonna shrink to that and yeah. they're gonna be dependent on microtransactions so I don't know. I don't think... Uh, no, they're not going to do it. No, they're not gonna do I don't it. think they will. Not do it. I mean, s speaking about they've that... Had, they've had years to to see the effects uh, that it has on MMOs, you know? Especially you guys have too much faith in companies. I personally play well, RuneScape I'm not a lot of these new that. games, yeah. right? I play a lot of these new games. They get a ton of hype, right? They're number one on Twitch, hundreds of thousands of viewers. Beautiful gameplays. They start their beta out beautiful and they start releasing shit patches. All right. Half I, know, I, agree. I understand that. Reddit complains. Sure. Another shit that. patch, another half. And then a month later, they're rocking a couple thousand. Okay. And this happens all the time. If this is their first company they bought, there's going to be a chance they're going to fuck it up. Not saying that it will, but there's definitely yeah. a chance there. I oh, mean, yeah, it definitely is. You, you could, at the same time, though, look at like the past. So, like this mining company. The fucking mining company, like they didn't destroy the game. Good things have come from the game, while they have been owners. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, they, they've been um pretty vigilant. They just bought it, and they're just hoping to reach some extra cash, and they're yeah. letting the people oh, do. I mean, do, do what they need like, to do. If you look at how much profit Jagex made, like last year, it was a good couple hundred million. I'm pretty sure, close to it. So. It is like for this company, it might be a good investment because effectively yeah, they, like, might, they example, might make that money and then sell it for more next year if they wanted to yeah. do that, you know? So, so old, yeah. old school RuneScape, man, <clears throat> has been trying to grow its player base like any other game, but they've been trying to grow it so rapidly through mobile. Do you think uh, the reason why they're trying to grow their uh, company or the, the player base is that they want to maintain a profit without MTX? And if we somehow drop below a certain margin of players, that's no. going to be their backup plan. Dude, I, I think it's in any business's best interest to effectively try and grow and make more money. I, I don't this think is some rapid growth. But you're right, you're right. I'm just speculating. Well, that, that's just great, isn't it? Like, that's good. I mean, like, mo mobile <clears throat> growth is stable, though. You know? Ever since it happened, the player base has always been this high, and it hasn't really gone down ever since. Good shit. So it's very stable, and and it's good because I mean, there's a lot of people in yeah in the world that plays on their phone, so it just naturally makes a lot of sense to hit up that revenue. That is, right? that's a good ass number, baby. Yeah, ninety three thousand. Yeah. Wait, so and, and guess what? This isn't the weekend, right? We can hit a hundred k even on a weekday. Yeah, so the average people you have more subs on your YouTube than RuneScape has playing right now. <laughs> well, I mean, oh. concurrently, right? Like, <laughs> so, this is, yeah, this that's kind of crazy, number, dude. Man. That's this, right. is a concur this is a concurrent number, though. This is people actually online. Right? Hey, no, no. This is how many yeah. people play this game. That means that everybody who's logged moment. in, everyone logged in right now, watches my videos. Every single person, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. There's, if I yeah, go up to yeah. anybody yeah. in game, there's not going to be anybody that doesn't know who I am. Hundred <laughs> percent. I'm fucking trolling. But no, that's really cool. That's cool to see, man. I'm super happy to see it. I haven't actually. I never gone the old school RuneScape site. To be honest with you, so I never see how many players are online, but I'm very impressed with that. Ninety three thousand yeah. people. That's awesome. That's really good. Anyway, yeah, it's like over hundred k on the weekends. Uh, What's like next, boys. While we're talking about partnership and NTX, uh, I don't really know too much about this, but basically, I'm pretty sure recently Jagex pulled a partnership uh, program, which was effectively how would the community feel about certain cosmetics coming into the game, such as having like your house a certain color or theme. And uh, I have read this post because it's kind of controversial and I wanted to see what's going on. But they've pretty much said that they've removed the poll from the polls because it was like, I'm assuming, failing miserably. They, they just, all failed. Okay, they, they, all, failed. they all failed. It was, it was either they all failed or it was like 100% pass numbers, rate. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. I think yeah, they just worded it wrong, to be honest. But Jimmy, what do you, what do you feel <clears> about that poll that was up? So here's, here's what I brought up on, on Twitter. I thought of the so clearly mtx motivation is to make money grow the player base right 
Mm-hmm. So you want to want to rewind you guys back to you know maybe 2006, pre 2006, all the way till you know 2007, and you logged on your little PC, your little laptop that your mom gave you permission to use for a second. You had a laptop? Fucking lucky. Dude. I didn't. Uh, I'm I, just I used my friend's bulky ass desktop. All right, my I'm bad. trying to appeal yeah. to everyone here. Yeah, you logged on your fucking shitty IMAX giant <laughs> tube, your laptop, whatever you had. <laughs> I call it the You're, big bug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you logged on and you went to your browser. You typed in miniclip.com. And then you found old school runes. Well, not old school. Holy you found RuneScape. Fuck! You found RuneScape. What, what, did, what, did you what, just, what happened? Dude, I thought you had like a praying mantis on your camera or some shit. What's going on, man? I was trying to add emphasis to say partnership was back in the day, but I fucked the webcam. <laughs> yeah, so, so here's the thing. So I want to know more because I proposed this. I was like, look, we have all these platforms like Steam and Origin where everyone finds these games, just like how we used to find Flash games on Miniclip. So what was that? Was that a partnership? Because no, on the was. RuneScape, on the official RuneScape website, they said, do not enter your login information anywhere but RuneScape or Miniclip. So there was clearly some sort of connection there. What yeah. was it? How mm-hmm. do we recreate that? Because that didn't offer any benefits. You didn't get free membership for finding it through Miniclip or anything. You just found it there. And that's how they grew. That's how I found the fucking game. So, so how do we recreate that again? Well, so uh, you know what this is? Uh, give me yeah. a so, okay. so we got two different things going on and when they suggest this. You have uh, the ability to partner up with different companies. And then you have this thing where it's like there was an incentive given so that you could maybe check out this other company, right? So that, that was what was going on, is that they were trying to tie promotional, like, cross-promotion, right? So, like, this company would promote your game, but then the game also would promote the company, right? Like, the most recent example is Twitch Prime and RuneScape. Yeah. Very straightforward. Yep. You get Twitch Prime, you get to play RuneScape for free for uh, 30 months. You get Twitch Prime. 30 get, months? Fuck I yeah, mean, 30 dude. days, sorry. Or 50, 14 days, or whatever. Or if you get, or if you didn't have Twitch Prime and you're playing RuneScape, but then you get Twitch Prime, then you can also benefit something over there on, on the Twitch side, right? As a viewer. So, I mean, it's, it's they've already done something like that, right? Like in terms of the right? cross then- promotional. Did yeah, but that's mini clips is fan- that, that dude. That's yeah, the thing. Figured. That's what this was about. Like effectively, exactly. That's what this it, was about. Th- yeah. yeah, this whole polling thing here was effectively just like it. I don't know why they didn't just didn't just trip up say it. To be honest, it was basically Twitch Prime perps. That's pretty yeah. much what this that's was exactly gonna be. What it was. Uh, but people didn't want it because yeah. I mean, I, I I'm not surprised. I don't really care. I wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. So like when for you example. Were- we use the word MTX, okay? And then you got all these people who know nothing about a business or partnerships or that they actually probably, pro- you know, off the Twitch Prime. They did it themselves. You got these people on Twitter hating it. Yeah. It, it's like so, a racial word, right? Yeah. MTX. They just, people's mind, they just go off. So yeah, I think they I should just reword this shit. I personally <laughs> love, like, the fact that Jagex, a long time ago, collaborated with a, a gaming host website. That's what Minicode was. Makeup just hosted other games that it was like an old made. Steam. Yeah, exactly. It was like an old old man Steam. Can I and propose a conspiracy yeah. theory? Yeah. Yes, you can. I I think perhaps, perhaps, again, it's a theory. Maybe Jagex worded it the way they did for a reason. And yeah. they didn't want to do this, but they were getting pressured. They go, you know what? We'll see. We'll see what they think. We'll show you. They worded it so well thought out. And they all played a game. You know what? Company. That's correct, dude. Because I mean, Modash on Twitter replied to a hate comment. And he said, <laughs> uh, so the hate comment said, fuck you. You're not listening to my opinion. And then Modash is like, you're right. Uh, you're on the majority of what RuneScape thinks. Oh, that might be dude. it, dude. Huh. Dude, I'm onto something here. So We need yeah. to make a video about this shit right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, the um, dark side of RuneScape. Dude, but where's clearly dice people, when you need him? Yeah, but clearly <laughs> people hate MTX. I mean, but, but it's a little ironic, though, because we've already had something like this already happening with Twitch Prime and RuneScape. And, and also, right, if you do this stuff, you get the purple skin ahead of time before anybody else did. So yeah, we already right? had exactly what that suggestion was already telling people. 
and yeah, no so, one blinked an eye. Yeah, but nobody, or well, maybe home. some people, but like really, the most part, people didn't really bitch about that. So it's funny to me, now people are bitching about that because we've already had this how many times like maybe four times already with the twitch prime and like the purple skin stuff right yeah, yeah. i'm like <laughs> i'm with jimmy it's dude. almost this, painful this man this yeah. is some shit dude yeah. why would they do that and then word it this way when they know they can get away with it yeah. right yeah. if you were opening a bag of doritos and you saw runescape on the inside just like a dragon skin you have a co for free membership oh, would you even awesome. fucking complain no what would no, you complain Right? I mean, so, personally, I would... If you as yeah, MTX, yeah. you would complain, oh, I'm not going to eat Doritos again. No, bitch. You're going to stuff your little fat fucking face and get free membership because you don't even know what it is. Yeah. There's going to yeah, be something like, going on. Um, the, the easiest thing that they can do partnerships without MTX is something like... Uh, I, I think, for example, a good one that they could collaborate with one day is Discord. Like, say, you make a Discord account uh, through a referral from RuneScape. Then that that means somebody obviously from the RuneScape side is coming to Discord, right? Which Discord wins in that case. Aren't they kind then, of already collabed? Because it, it'll tell you someone's playing RuneScape. I, I don't. I don't. Online. No, not really. Because it does that for every game. It will just automatically. Well, that's a little collab game. though. It doesn't do Dude, it like I propose this too. I propose Without something promotion. super easy yeah. to do with with Discord. Yeah. All Discord Nitro members get thirty free days. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, That's yeah, what it's yeah. talking Something about. Like that. Would anybody bitch about that? Probably not. But because they already talked about partnership and then to tying it with like some additional rewards that people that do this get it early, like it's already kind of like, you know, getting skewed. Because like yeah. some people are thinking partnerships equals MTX, but that's not true. Partnerships is partnerships. MTX is MTX. They don't necessarily yeah. have to go together. Honestly, I think it was because it was a crazy amount of uh, poll questions, right? Text. Yeah, a lot yeah, of dude. I terrible. I don't. I think they just polled it really poorly, man. Yeah. I, I don't know why they polled On it like purpose, that. Though. Yeah, they might have done that show. Yeah, purpose, but I, I, mean, I, I think yeah. they. I don't know what they were thinking. Could dude, be, yeah, to to yeah. be honest with you, I don't know what they were thinking, but at the same time, I don't huh. think it should have failed. If I'm honest, because yeah. like none of that shit has any effect on the game at all. Like it literally you know, has. You know none. why? It failed even more than it was. It, it was a right? slippery it have slope scenario. That much. <laughs> have you have you been on Twitter and seen the people complaining like it's the end of the world? Uh, yeah. I tried to avoid Twitter at all costs. I'm borderline yeah, he hates annoyed <laughs> at them though because like have a valid argument, but don't be an asshole about it when you don't know much, right? People will blatantly spam their Twitter line with just shit like they're a justice warrior. Right, really, yeah. a justice warrior for RuneScape propaganda? Shut the fuck up, all right? You just uh -huh. have an argument, but don't be that guy who just won't, you know, nothing about it, and you're just mad. Oh, <laughs> I, I think that's why yeah. it, it was horrible to look. I mean, out like, in, in my opinion, I have nothing against partnerships, especially if it's like game related, right? Like, if it's like Discord or like Razor, you know, um, that'd be cool. Corsair, those things, like, I think those are perfectly fine because. Guess what? To you, what you need to play RuneScape with, right? Uh, do you want some Discord to talk to people? Dude, you want imagine some mouse? Tesla. Right? Imagine Tesla. Tesla, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if you dabble the RuneScape. Driving you know, a car and a little know. screen pops up. RuneScape free yeah, membership man. or something. Dude, yeah. I, I swear Elon Musk would appreciate it. For, for every RuneScape purchase man. of a Tesla, you get a year of membership. <laughs> Like, yes, fire, oh, dude, Jimmy, man. you need to get Rian on your uh, voice acting videos, man. Yo, Rian, that was beautiful. Rian, 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 Blatantly racist. You, well, I can give you a fake. I can give you some real Chinese, but I'd rather not. You guys got like a samurai sword. <laughs> right. Some okay. Anyways, let's move yeah. on. There. Aside are we from doing what more than stuff again? Oh, we, we're past it, mate. Who cares? Okay, People, we're past go, it. Right, Golden right. Gnomes are out, guys. Go and vote for your favorite YouTuber streamer. Yeah, actually, I know Jimmy wanted to say something about it. We should let him finish. Oh, yeah, sorry, okay. Go ahead, man. Say yeah. what? The, the okay, Golden no, Gnome stuff. Never mind. Talk about. <laughs> Golden Gnome stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I want to talk about Golden Gnome stuff. Yeah, let's get it, dude. All right, yeah, first, how many are you winning, dude? Oh boy! You think you know, can win at least one? <laughs> I, I was just thinking about what dumb things I could say on stage if, in theory, I did win. I was, I'm just thinking, like, what am I gonna do? I mean, I feel like everyone who looks at you in public as a RuneScape person, like, if you win a golden gnome, you're like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. But like, <laughs> on the outside, everyone's looking at you like, dude, don't say something like super cringe that I'm gonna post about later, and I'm just gonna be <laughs> yeah. really. Like, I think anyone on stage is going to be, like, really conscious about it. 
I don't know. Do people, people break down and speeches? cry? Ah, uh, people <laughs> don't really do speeches. People just go up there and yeah. improvise, I feel. Yeah, when I went to RuneFest, people just kind of like talk for 10 seconds and then they're like, yeah. okay. So they, But they do they give you a chance to say something to everybody yeah. when you win. Yeah, yeah. Okay. As far as I'm okay. Aware. Gotcha. Yeah. I wouldn't no, want to, dude. Part, I wouldn't yeah. want to win one because, firstly, they actually tell you if I'm pretty sure they tell you if you've you've won because they want you to be do. there to get it. So that would like cause me to be nervous. And also, oh, I wouldn't. Oh. I like honestly, if I won one this year and I don't think it's gonna happen, I'd just be like, how the fuck did I win this? Like, there's so many people right. that work so much harder, have better videos than me. Like, what am I doing with this thing? Someone take it. That's when you give them that real, fat shout out on the stage, baby. That's what I would do. I'd give so many shout <laughs> outs. Like, be like, so my boy, neck, uh, you know? So, uh, regarding the Golden Gnomes, uh, I I don't know if I had mentioned it while we were recording or not, but no, I, I had talked it. to Mod Gambit, and we were talking about the Golden Gnomes because we knew they were coming up, and we talked to him about the current categories because there's nine total uh awards and there's you know old school best new video maker old school uh best video maker and old school uh i think there's something else that i'm missing i don't know streamer uh, maybe, yeah there's well, also a the, live stream section too yeah the streamer ones too maybe there's more than that i don't remember there's a few for it's the time. same but but the point is it's the same reward uh, awards that were you know in for the last few years ever. same format. i don't think they've ever changed dude i think they're well the same. no they they have they have because the golden few, Gnome awards few. used to be uh like their video competitions now you used to have to make oh. a video strictly for the golden gnomes that's how uh excel won do you remember that at all uh, it rings a bell uh, yeah, there's a like a lot. Excel. follow too much yeah, yeah the, the initial golden gnomes were structured exactly like uh the video competitions they do now uh you they gave you a criteria a time uh, you know, they basically they were just like make the best video in two minutes, and you had to do it uh, in two minutes or less. And whoever got voted the best video won the golden gnome. And now it's basically a body of work judgment, uh, yeah. and it's been the same body of work judgment since like 2014 or 2015. Yeah. What um, more stuff do you want for? So my point I made to him was uh, this year especially. Throughout 2019, uh, and even early, or sorry, late 2018, there is such an influx of creators. There's so many more. There's such a variety of content. You have PKers, all the Snowflake accounts. Uh, you've got people making comedy skits again. And there's so much now that to narrow it down to just best new guy and then best overall, two awards for video makers is absurd. I feel like this community in general, all the content creators, if you're a content creator, you are doing a, a huge favor to Jagex by making videos and giving it publicity. Because personally, I have a ton of people commenting on my videos like, yeah, man, like you got me back into RuneScape. Like every content creator gets that. Like you got me back into RuneScape. Like you, you made me try it out. Like, thank you. And so there's there needs to be more recognition to people who have different varieties. So I guess... Some of the suggestions I made were, you know, best special effects, best edited, uh, you know, make it more like an actual Oscar uh, award, like best make sex go, scene. Mm. yeah, best sex scene, best, oh. uh, best sound. I don't know. I mean, that's very specific and stuff. Obviously, not all of those, but uh, yeah. best, best commentary, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, um, like best, it would actually best be series. Good. Best, best series that does quests in order. Uh, that they, you know, <laughs> like, there you go. Yeah, it's got yeah. down. They could I'd obviously vote soup. Like, they, they could yeah. actually make it hype to watch if they had like funniest right. moment or like craziest reaction of the year. Exactly. Like, that stuff would actually like make it interesting to watch as well. Because it's usually you just sort of sat there and it's just like, well done. Next right. person. <laughs> like you're not really too well i'm never too engaged but uh, that's just wait me. wait before before we move on uh wait who here was there last year me and Rune. Just, okay do you remember the little animation that happened before yeah yeah i remember that um yeah that was there what was it it was like I, the the RuneScape characters they were fighting each other the the old school and the, oh yeah RuneScape yeah yeah who guys. made that was it um, that was Presleek but I wrote it and I voice acted one of them so I was technically there but not physically yeah 
Yeah, oh, that's cool. That looks good. Just want to point that out. Yeah, I just want to point yeah. that out. Pretty cool. Yeah, Rune, they should actually. I mean, reward wise too, but they should focus more of that uh, Rune Fest around content creator creations, right? right. To kind of liven right. it up. Because more people tune in, more people go. If it was funnier, that was pretty yeah. funny. I like that shit. But at the same time, like I've gone to RuneFest now twice, and to be honest with you, it's kind of it. It shouldn't just be about the creators, man. By any means, there's so many people there. There's like thousands of people who are just players, and like I know there's quite a few of them that like watch content creators. A lot of people don't give a fuck, man. They just go there and have a good time. Like, they don't want the content That's creators true. forced down their throat. Like, it's not a celebrity meet and greet. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's literally for RuneScape players. Like, like die I'm talking, hard, like, you know? more of those animations to liven up the show, though. You know what I mean? Instead of the in-between times and the J-Mods commentating and shit, maybe you have more of those, uh, you know, not even commentators or content creators, but fan-made creations shown on stage. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome, man. It's like That's back- what I'm thinking. Not Dude. like a meet and greet or anything. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I got bitch, you. I'm famous now. Yeah, just, like, shove no. it. Like, this is boaty everywhere. Like, no. Yeah, you gotta buy it. <laughs> Yeah. But like, yeah, I like I like the idea of that. I remember the olden days with RuneScape, where um every week there would be like a fan art submission on the forums. Oh, I love you guys, those, you guys man. remember I that? that all the time? I used, I used to, to check me that too. all the time, dude. I used to love that shit, dude. I you think I even I might have I might have even thought about doing it once, but I don't think I did it. <laughs> dude, <laughs> but no, I, I came close. <laughs> really yeah. Picasso, dude, dude. No, no, I'll seriously, they used to have some of the worst drawings ever. It'd be like some little kid that's drawn like an ob- obsidian shield. <laughs> and it just looked like fucking shit but like it was on the website and it was just like well done timmy good job man <laughs> they need more of that man for real because i swear some of the, yeah, those, some of the game mods are behind them. that and they'll yeah, post check the main page just for those back in the day right I used to love drawing, so it was easy for me to. Right. To Anyways, it. boys, I don't know how long we've been be podcasting amazing. for, but let's check, just check get it, through it, dude. It. Let's get through check it. it. I, I can't. Uh, before we, we continue, I can't. Before we continue. I'm gonna. I'm. If I don't pee right now, it's gonna pour yeah. out and it's gonna be disgusting. If we can uh, hear it, that'd be fine. Hey, go for it, man. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, go for it, brother. Yeah. We're just gonna Should I just pee in a cup right next to my mic right now? Would that be okay? Yeah. Okay. okay I'm not gonna do that, but hold on. <laughs> right, boys. Just in case. The fourthus. The, I don't know how to fucking say this. Fourthus dungeon. The fourthus dungeon. The fourthus dungeon. Yeah. dungeon. Okay. Right, so um, check the yellow uh, now. Dude, I'll be honest with you. I haven't been here. Because I feel like I have been here. Do you know why I feel like I've been here? Because the first hour of release of this place, there was damn seven videos in my YouTube sub box. So I know everything <laughs> yeah. about this place. <laughs> yeah, I love much. it. I love it. Uh, but no, it looks good. I like the video Sears made. Any of you guys catch that? Ah, uh, no, nah, man. Many no? Videos in this shit. There, yeah, there I, 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 I kind of know too right. much already. From... Sears, Sears uploaded a video, which I thought was very interesting. There's like these mages, like this little dude here. And uh, he killed them and saw how much money and XP he got from them. And, like, it is some good-ass XP. It's right next to an altar. And um, he made, I think, with a blowpipe, it was, like, 600k cash in the hour and gained, like, 130k. Yeah, the XP. undead druids. Like, that's good as fuck, man. Like, obviously, because you can use the salve amulet as well. Like, combined with void, man. Like, it's a good yeah, spot. Yeah, undead druids. I-, I don't know if they plan for it to be used like that, but, like... Yeah, I, I like that. That's a good um, place So to the idea of this dungeon is supposed to be self-sustaining. That makes sense. You kill the things, you get the resources, so you can get the money. Want an and they Iron Man. To, they want someone to make a Forfos Iron Man, don't they? That's what they huh, want. Yeah, essentially. It, it is self-sustaining because... Exactly you know, why they did that. ...that you can get from the things that you kill here. Uh, and, and the rewards is food, like d highs. You can make armor and you can alk it. You can also get food from it. You can get a limited prayer. So you can just stay there the whole time, over and over again. You know, just Wait, hold up. The cycle. Like, can you, like, yeah. craft? Uh, it's, uh, I've not been there. Yeah, you can, yeah just bring, like, a, a needle and some thread. Or if not, they might have already dropped some from the monsters. Well, I'm saying realistically, yeah, if you were, like, a level yeah. three going so here, it's like an could you progress through, like, Iron the entire dungeon? game just from here? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. It's, it's just for anybody. If anybody wants to stay here the whole night, the whole week, you can. You can no, just stay I like here. That. <laughs> See, like, I kind of like that, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's kind of unique because you know there, I don't think there's many dungeons that that can self-sustain yeah. reasonably. I do like um, that. Uh, the new boss, you know, uh, Sarachnis. I call it Saracha. That, that's, that's what I call it. Hey. But uh, yeah, that boss is mid-level. It's pretty friendly for uh, you know people that are starting a PVM for the first time. It doesn't hit too hard. Has a few gimmicks. Um, 
Easy. What's the drop like, rate for the pit? I heard it's like one in sixty-four. No, I'm, I'm Wait, pretty really? sure it's probably one. In, it's probably at least one in a thousand. At least okay. Mo- most pets. I heard are it's not super that. easy peasy. Dude, I'm gonna check it this content out. Right um, I don't. I do not think it's a one in sixty-five, or else I would be. I might have got false info to be honest. The Twitch chat is never a reliable. Yeah, no, it's definitely <laughs> in. It's definitely in one in thousands. We don't know the rate because no, obviously they haven't. Because I was, I was saying, dude, I granted I've been an Addis, and that pet you get from this fighter is way better looking. I'm like, if it's like yeah. one in three hundred, I'll be very mad. Yeah, so uh, if you guys are interested in doing some entry PVM, this boss is a uh, pretty good candidate. Uh, drops it drops a weapon uh, that is shit. S- just in general slightly better than a D skin for like say Slayer training. It's one damage more than a D skin. Okay. But once you hit seventy, though, the the weapon's gonna be kind of obsolete. But there is a niche for it. And it does, uh, I, I think, sell for a mil or something at the moment. You know, they should have gave it a spec. Wait, so it's, it's one strength better than the dragon one sword. One damage. It's one damage better than a dragon So sword. it's better than the dragon sword. It's not as good as the Sardoman sword. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, it's way weaker than the leaf bladed. And it's not as good as the abyssal bludgeon or obviously the abyssal. Yeah, yeah, anything above 70 stats are better than. It's like a in-betweener, you know, between 60 and 70. I wish they gave it a special attack though. Just just something fun, you know, even if it's dumb. Just yeah. anything. I you suppose, know, maybe it I spins mean, your opponent around. Fucking yeah. something, dude. Yeah, if you got some extra money, you know, and you got 65 attack, you can use the cudgel for a bit. Um, yeah, I think the things you're talking about is the chaos uh, the undead druids. It's like a, you know, chaos druids, right? They drop more herbs and stuff. So there's that as well. It's a probably decent money maker for low level players maybe or mid level players dude i just no. gotta say every update they're killing it with the artwork that's the one thing i see it everything yeah they, they've beautiful. had more artists so that's cool we can finally actually that's not just copy paste only thing them. that has just been absolutely amazing is the art that yeah no disappointment there yeah <sighs> you all right there Ryan? yeah <laughs> nt splashing sorry they got some anti-splashing going on in yeah, uh, Lone Bridge what, what, Castle. What's this anti-splashing? All right. We'd like to let you know about a change to splashing. By the way, I think Jimmy's taking a shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've been back. I've been back. Oh, oh he's back. Yeah. Never went. I've heard some sounds in the yeah, back. I mean, we, like, cover, I we cover Q&A for it. Right. So splashing <laughs> in Lone Bridge, arriving in next week's episode. <laughs> what? what? What's so funny about what I just said? All right, but. I, I I said I thought I heard a splash in the oh, background of Jimmy's oh. mic. You're just like splashing in Lumbridge. It's just a great <laughs> in betweener there. All right, for oh. those of you who don't know, splashing is a highly AFK magic training method. By a, yeah, we know, we know. For new players really? that come fresh out of Toronto Island, it looks a little odd to see players dressed in full melee equipment attacking with magic against low level NPCs such as Rat. It is, man. That's not how you're yeah, supposed to train. I'm glad again. Yeah, you're not supposed to trade names like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm glad they're getting rid of that stuff for that's, Lumbridge. That's such a good point, man. Like, if you come out of Lumbridge and you see, like, another 120, like, killing a rat and full iron, you're just going to assume that's a good thing. Do you know what I mean? But, like, new players aren't going to know anywhere. Uh, whilst being controversial aspect of the game, it's not something we're looking to get rid of altogether at this stage. A little bit too late, I agree. But we're going yeah, to it's make... it's not a big deal. We're going to make this impossible in Lumbridge and the surrounding area to ensure it's not something that new players see. I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect, honestly. No problem. You can't really fix flashing anyways. So. Right. It reminds me because there's this MMO, right, that my friend used to play. And you, if you ran a lot or you walked a lot or you swam a lot, it would build your endurance. So people would just swim against a wall and leave their computer on for like five months straight and they just come back <laughs> with like a max to count. That's pretty <laughs> what the splashing is in Rune's game. Oh, Very much. Dude, that's cool as fuck. Yeah, man. I, dude, I used to love splashing. That, like they had this thing. I don't know how splashing works now, but back when it first was like discovered, you could just have your account for the six hours. Six hours. And like, I, dude, I remember I hated getting 94 made for PKN back in the day. It was like the biggest grind ever. And I'm not even joking. I had an alarm set on my phone for every six hours. I'd be at work. I'd drive home to log back in and get that splashing good. Bear in mind, I was fire striking for like the 10k XP. It was an hour. So we're looking at like 60k XP for those six hours. But I hated it so much. Like I'd wake up at two in the morning just to log in on my account. And just start splashing again. And I got 94 Brilliant. mage from using Fire Strike after like a month. But I was so... <laughs> dude, it was like... I was so strict with myself. I was like, every six hours, man. I got to log in. Hmm. 
sort this account yeah. out because i was like there's rich, no way bro. i just use blood runes man what no are you doing? not back then man this was like back oh. when this was when 07 first came out and oh, i oh my i was like okay. a huge fucking staker and like yeah I, I remember i got to a point where i had my dream gear which was full for an age and i was like 50 mil away from my elijah and i was using an arcane because i couldn't afford it and Elijah was like 750 mil at the time. And I was like, oh, I go steak and I can get that 50 mil easy peasy and just lost my entire bank. Like the whole fucking shebang, man. I hate staking so much. That's why I don't steak, man. It's nothing fun about it. Even if I, and do you know what the most annoying thing was? The next week there was like some fucking, do you know the J mod that was like, um, there was like an AFK glitch where they could attack Corp without getting attacked back. It was like a week before that. And then the Elijah dropped down to like 600 mil. So I could have afforded it. Sad Ooh, times. Dude. Sad times. Worst day. Worst fucking day. Yeah. I, I, bought, I bought it for like 300 when Tebow came out. Holy shit. E. 300. Good days. Oh yeah, damn. Yeah. It dropped like fuck. Didn't it? Yeah, it was super I cheap. I, still I wish it. it was that cheap again. I could never afford it, mm, dude. Worst yeah. day. Right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The, uh, the fourth boss dungeon. Pretty awesome. Yeah, um, last thing we want to cover was LMS beta. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, by the way, Dungeons and Zaya, so yeah, go, go explore. So, Jimmy, you a big fan of LMS, dude? Dude. Ooh. When, so when there, everyone... Jimmy. Just because I have all, like, 99 combat stats putting into that arena, so does everyone else, first yep. and foremost. Everyone else has the same stats that I do. And when it comes to skill of, of killing other players... I'm probably bottom of the barrel, hmm. so good I'm not good at it, but I am excited to try it out and maybe get better and maybe yep. hope for a little... I don't know yep. what they're planning to do for the beta, like what changes are being made, because I didn't play the first one too much, uh, but I'm excited to start you know, playing RuneScape Battle Royale again. Well, you know what? This brings a good question for you then. So outside of questing, what, is, what do you think you are most adept at in this game like you know whether scaling or pvming all that stuff. bank standing bank standing yeah be it i, I guess what, what, would you, what is the reason why you would still play this game i guess besides the quest like, what are some you know besides being a creator like if you log in what are some things you like kind of bang out real does quick it have i mean dude i mean playing this game I'm always just thinking about content. So I feel I like see, yeah, okay. you're foremost a like creator. If I wasn't making a series based off gameplay, I'd be making a series completely based not on gameplay, like uh, like skits and stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. okay. Using okay. like making machinimas. Cause I don't know. I feel like I'm not a grindy person, but I enjoy grinding the account I have because of the quests, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's like just using. The popular boy is an example here. Settled grinding to get to the theater of blood. And if I'm thinking to myself, oh, I'm doing this crazy grind right now to get to the theater of blood, I just would not be doing it anymore. That is not that's not motivating for me to go try and kill a boss because I'm not a boss guy. But yeah, yeah. if you say, okay. Yeah, you're gonna do this in a cool way and get a quest cape, I'm like, Oh, quest cape, yeah, I like that. And I'll do it. So I don't know. I, yeah. I I don't have uh I think I've gotten, I have 199 on my main account. So I'm, I, I don't like grinding for hours just to get XP. It's not, it's not my style. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah you like it, to be honest. You focus is... more on the that content shit. side than, than the gaming side. Yeah, I feel right. that for sure. Because like, I mean, I, we all do it. We all do something with the mindset that, oh yeah, we can make a good video out of it. We all think like that. Sure. Right. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, personally, I'm more like 50% into the game and then 50% to the video. So I still want to like showcase the game, like the gameplay. But yeah, I get you because, you know, there's people that are more focused on like the creation of the video and like, you know, the right. to creative him is side. Pretty much yeah. video making and enjoying the game instead of playing right. Which is fair, because every time I PK someone, I think you're going on a video, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, <laughs> I don't even want your loot. Always... I want your clip, bitch. You know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I still, I still really like playing the game, though. But yeah, I, I would say, fifty percent. I, I dedicate fifty percent to the, the video creation, and then I dedicate fifty percent for me to just play the game. Yeah, yeah. don't get me wrong. I love playing the game, but yeah. I do think that content creation has given me that motivation to enjoy the game because yeah, yeah yeah exactly i don't know there's always a bigger picture behind yeah. the gameplay yeah. 
I'll be like honest with you. Just, I like I used to be like a solid PvP or so I played the game for. I started making videos like properly when I got into PvM when I just like lost my joy for PvP. So I'd love this last man standing update to just be insane. Like I, I've said it for ages, man. I want them to bring out a PvP update that's just so much fun and so addictive that I'll just like drop whatever series I'm working on and just play it. Like that's what I want, dude. Because I haven't had that from anything from RuneScape, a piece of content where I've just been like, I'm gonna stop doing everything I'm doing right now and just do this for fun. Like I haven't yeah. had that in a long time. That's mm -hmm. that's how I felt when the Wildy Key update came out. Then the wilderness died again because I huh. found new areas to hunt, right? And that was so fun. And now they're dry. So this uh, is yeah, what you, I'm you banking every. Oh, I milked the shit out of that update, and it dried up so fast. So I'm glad I did. Uh, so yeah, at least you're in the barrel though, Jimmy, because the, there is LMS now. If you guys don't know, it's called Last Man Standing, and it was a game mode that came out. You could you know win some money from it. And you could actually do those high risk nights where you'd come out with 25 mil per game if you won. But the game is, in my opinion, absolute shit. A lot of people like it. They say it's very skillful, but I tell them, you know, catching a penny in your butt cheeks is skillful, but no one wants to get good at it, right? Because it's fucking shit. No one wants to do that. It's heavy the reason, perf looking back then. <laughs> you would start out with 10 prayer points. You would have uh, just a staff, right? Very slow staff. And you'd spawn in randomly and you would have to loot chests and whatever is around you and it'd be very random drops you could get just sharks you could just get a blue eyed top right and the guy could get a skimmy next to you and he just beat your ass and that's it that's a, it's game over you can get a mage bow uh the skillful part i believe would come into the prayer flicking you'd have to prayer flick insanely well with whatever weapon you have in order to drain their 10 prayer points over yours also the buying aspect is like a one tick that it opens up you have to click all your items before someone attacks you know Minus is down, right? So you can only imagine how shitty that is. The new LMS that's coming out for beta, unlimited prayer, no prayer flicking, brilliant. No. Everyone starts with a uh, hybrid setup, They're the same setup, but it's it's meant to learn how to hybrid. Very basic, very skillful. There is no buying, there is no um, looting, right? Yeah, you kill someone about predictive for predictive switching. Then that's pretty nice. much, it's it's you outplay your opponent, you get their I'll key. Switch. You open the key on a chest, you get more loot. The more keys you get, the better items you get. Oh, the last five people, I'm so hyped, man. This sounds right? so good, dude. The last five people. So if you're just playing really passively and not killing anyone, and say somebody's just killing everyone in front of you, and he has all the keys and a bloody key, the bloody key could give you one of those great items, like a dark bow, D claws. It rewards people for being aggressive and being good at the game. Minus the person. Oh, dude, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm fucking, great. dude, I can't, like... Yeah, I can't. I'm so hyped. Yeah, I'd be I down seriously. to do something with y'all. Let's the, do it. Let, let's do it on Thursday. Let's all hook up, man. Let's get it going. I'm so down for this. I'll even you stream. Time? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, I won't be streaming, but I'll just be like on Discord. Or right, so <laughs> they released their updates at 11 a.m. on Thursdays, usually GMT time. I forgot what time that is for you guys. 11 a.m. GMT, wherever you're at. And that will more than likely be the time when the update comes into game. Because it's always like the same on a Thursday. It's like around eleven, and then it'd be it, really cool to like do a twenty-four hour on Wednesday and wait till the update comes out. But the wilderness is so fucking dead. There'd be nothing to do for like five hours <laughs> before the update comes out, which is dumb. Feels uh, bad, dude. <laughs> I know. There's just nothing to do out there, wait, man. So, what what time is eleven a.m. in your time? I don't know. Usually the updates kick out around 4 to 5 a.m. my time. Oh. Usually. That's a regular update time, so it's pretty damn early. Yeah, like the update comes out at 7 a.m. my time, which is 12 races time, and that means 4, no, uh, 5 your time at 5 yeah, a.m. it's pretty early. Okay, alright, we'll figure I something mean, out. I, I'd rather just play when you're streaming, man, because then that's like later in the day or some yeah. shit. Right. It's but cool. I don't know, race is going to be yeah, we'll figure something out. Anyways, guys, I said we wrap it up. We've covered all the yeah. topics that we wanted to. Jimmy, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming on, dude. Um, yeah, thanks for having yeah, me. Tell us what's going on with your projects, you know, like whether it's Twitch, YouTube. I mean, mostly YouTube, right? Yeah, so oh, where, yeah. where can the people find you, Jimmy? What are your social medias, my friends? Uh, so uh, all my social media is all uh, it's just J1MMYRS because, you know, I play RuneScape, so I toss the RS in there. Uh, so, you know, you can just, just put that in your, 
in your porn internet hub. browser. Yeah, Pornhub. Yeah, you can find me on maybe there. on yeah, there's XXX. Yeah, you have to be a Pornhub premium member to see my stuff though, because I don't that's fly with that no no monetization nonsense. Sponsor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's been really fun being here with you guys. It's, it's very yeah, comforting. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you guys didn't make fun of me. It's nice. <laughs> oh no, yeah, as man. long as you're not solo mission or Mika, you know, man, well. Get his hands yeah, off. Well, we'll have to take a good look at you, then we'll start roasting. All right, uh-huh. you got a big neck or something like uh, old solo there. Uh, All right, guys, yeah, thanks so for watching. All right. We have yeah. the worst outros, by the way. Yeah, no, wait, wait, wait. So, <laughs> borderline yeah, shitty outros. I like, just, I, I just leave you guys to fuck it up and just sit here away. Yeah, yeah. Just like one All of them right, will right, wrap man, it up. Y'all in a can minute. wrap it up. Yeah. End.